Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about the Bank chipset. These were sent to me for review. I did not pay for these. Thank you, Josh from ApachePokerChips.com. Now, these are pretty versatile. You can use these for the 19th century kind of railroading games. You can use these for poker. You can use, like my, when my boy saw these, he's seven and he plays Pokemon, the trading card game. And he's like, look, damage counters. Look, there's no dollar sign here. Yeah, these could legitimate, legitimately be used as Pokemon damage counters. I am not going to purchase these for Pokemon damage counters, and I'll explain why here later in the video. But what do you think of the looks? This is one of these sets. I've seen a lot of poker chips, and this is one of those sets where I'm really struggling to find any fault visually with the design. I like the edge spots. I like the clear light denomination. I like the continuity of the similar backgrounds. It's a pretty solid looking set. I mean, they have a train theme here, the non-denomination right here. The no chip value NCV has, you know, a train on it. And it has this lovely mold. This is focusing. It's a railroading mold. I love that mold. That's pretty cool. And it's easy to see the difference just in the color, they have, you know, the fract right here, the fractional 25, they have the quarters here, as a, we call them quarters, but this would probably, yeah, you know, fractional, you know, it's good, it's a good set. I really am struggling to even nitpick something wrong with this set. Have a look, let me, let me know in the comments if you see something that to your eye doesn't work for you. And I always like to, let's see if I can find, the set here. I always like to play a quick hand just uh, so you can see how the cards look. I'm gonna, I pulled out some faded spade 2.0 poker size plastic cards here. Love these cards. We'll shuffle them here on my leather. People <laughs> want to watch me struggle. You can watch me struggle right now. This is never super easy on my leather bend here. All right, let's compile a little bet here. What are we running? Any, how would that look? If it's, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just call that good, okay? So we are going to burn a card. Let me get these out of the way. Kind of short on space here. Well, before we burn a card, I'm gonna deal myself a hand. Playing some Texas Hold'em. That's my hand. Should I have a look at it? Do I really care? I'm going to show you here at the end anyway. And then we have, so pause the video if you need to, shuffle your deck, deal yourself two cards. Let us know what you have in the comments below. Obviously we're not playing for anything, we're on YouTube. Let's see, I burned a card, now we have the flop. I hope you raised with your pocket threes. The commentary on these. Could be anybody's flush. Let's see what hits at the end. Of course, the seven of diamonds. How else would you end up on the river? As for me, I had an almost worthless flush. So how did they do? How did they do? How did the do? How did the cards do? The chips as well. They look like poker chips. They look pretty legit to me. I like the look. Let's compare them to some casino chips here as far as weight and width. So lots of chips are sold as casino weight. And I understand there's a variety of casinos out there, card rooms, they use all sorts of chips. But let's just look at some Paulson Top Hat and Canes. This happens to be Horseshoe Cleveland. Legitimate, real casino chips used in a casino. They're running 10 grams. All right, 9.9. .9. Right there, knocking at the door of 10 grams. Here's another, 9.9. .9. The China clays here are very close to what we're getting with the Paulsons. Let's make sure we're zeroed here. Yeah, we're good. So, weight is spectacular. That's one of the things I love about the China clay. They're not slugged. There's not a metal slug in these chips. It's just a nice, solid material that has a good weight to it. Let's look at these as far as width. China clays generally do a good job of being between 39 and 40. I haven't measured these. I'm not actually sure if they're sold as 40 millimeter or 39 millimeter. 
Let's make sure that's zeroed out. Joe, by way of reference, why don't we just measure these? Because they're right here. 39 millimeters and some change. Whereas the bank chips, a little less than 40. Half a millimeter. These are half a millimeter wider than a casino chip. All right, well, there you have it. So, the other thing I want to discuss is China clays have a good feel to them. If you look at the edges here, let's see if we can get a good shot of the edges. They almost are beveled. They're rounded, and so they feel good when you're shuffling. They are a little bit more sticky than, say, a ceramic, but they shuffle, shuffle nicely, as I totally botched that shuffle. But they feel good, you know? I mean, I don't have any major complaints about them as far as feel. They don't topple very easily. They're not super slick as far as flatness goes. Let me show you. They're pretty flat. With any chip, if you really poke it with a stick, like hold them way out here, push them, you can get them to explode. So you can see here, it takes a lot of effort to get these two to misbehave. Same with like Paulson's, you know. They're very solid, but if you really, if you really get to that edge, you can get them to misbehave. So I like the set. They're looking really good. So far, it's all been positive. I like the design. I like the feel, the texture, the mold. I like the available denominations here. You know, it looks like a solid set. The two complaints that I have, and this, these aren't new complaints, the smell, they smell of plastic. And one reason why I'm probably not gonna get these for my boy to play Pokemon with is because we have a little one crawling around and there are bite marks and things, okay? Little teeth sinking into things. It's like anything's on the table. And these can, I'm not sure if these will, but China Clay's historically, there we go, have been a little bit uh, fragile. That's not really fragile. I mean, I, I really had to very deliberately crank on that to get that to break. And you can see the label right here. I haven't had problems with labels coming off unless you intentionally scrape them off. China clays, oh, some Milanos I got way back like four, have I been doing this for four years? Four or five years ago, they had a few that were loose from factory. But all the China clays since, I've had no problems with labels coming off. Unless, again, I intentionally scrape them off. They're just very solid. Speaking of which, I might have just ruined my leather. Thanks a lot. Uh, enter <laughs> Benchmade. This is what I open packages with. We're just going to see if I can, should I leave this in the video? Do you guys want to watch me pry a label off my leather bend here? This is sole leather. This is really nice hard leather. Don't want to ruin it. You can do it. Please don't ruin uh, it. It should be okay. Well, there you have it. Don't remind me in the future not to stick labels from a poker chip onto my leather. Is that how it goes? Either way. So you can see they're pretty strong. They're pretty durable chips, but not. I would keep all. I keep all my poker chips away from the little one. Anyway, we'll move that aside. Finally, we are doing a sound test as usual. We want to see how the sound compared to Metal Slug ABS chips, Casino chips, Nevada Jack ceramic chips, and gold chocolate coins. Why not? Okay. Speaking of flatness issues, these have some serious flatness issues. Who designed those? Ceramics? Paulson, Top Hat and Kane. Those sound pretty similar. I can hear a difference. I'm not sure if that's gonna be communicated through the microphone. Hmm, 
interesting. Anyway, the bank, poker chips, something you're interested in? Something I'm pretty interested in. These might, these are kind of knocking at the door of my top 10 for the holidays here. Uh, I need to uh, evaluate what's going on, but these are looking pretty good. I'm really impressed with these. Let me know your thoughts. Would you use these for a board game? 19th century board game or a uh, poker game? Damage counters? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. My name is John Hobby.